Hello guys, welcome back to Creation YouTube channel. Today I'll be breaking down how to install and how to use the new CC Eats for Premiere Pro. So once we download the file, we need to go to our finder, select downloads, and it will appear a CC Eats Premiere Pro zip. If we unzip, double click for it, we will have the CC Eats Premiere Pro files. Inside we have a manual product in case you need it. And here we can see an After Effects file you don't need to install this, but you have it. And the MOGRT are the files we need to install to our Premiere Pro. So once we have done this, we need to open our Premiere Pro. Here we have our project, in my case is a picture. We need to go to Essential Graphics on the right side of our screen, select Browse, and down here we have a button to install our titles. So if we click, we can see here our CC Eats MOGRT file. If we select it and hit open, we will have our files installed. Since I already have the file installed, this message won't appear to you, so I will just click no. Okay, so now we need to go back to Essential Graphics and search for CC Eats. Here we have our titles. So just select them, drag and drop to your timeline. If we select our title, we go to Edit and let's toggle this down. So we see it includes icons and landscape, portrait and 4-5 aspect ratio. So in this case, it's very important to adjust the aspect ratio of your project to match the title you will select. So I will just show you how it works. Let's say we need the landscape aspect ratio. We need to select again our title, up here sequence, sequence settings. So as it's a landscape, this is the aspect ratio we need. If it's a portrait, it's the same but inverted. And if it's a 4-5, it will be 2700 and 2160. So this is the aspect ratio we need for have a landscape title. We hit OK. And as we selected landscape here, we need to open landscape folder. As I said for the aspect ratio, this position and scale is only for the text. We can open the folder number one as we selected the first landscape. Firstly, we can see the text settings. So we have the title, the font and its position. Same for the title two. And the next settings are the elements. The first thing we can see is a motion wave speed. This is because the title has like a wave kind of move. And with this slider, you can turn it off or reduce the movement by sliding it to the left. And if you slide it to the right, it will increase the movement. This is just for turning off or turning on these shapes, you can see. Scrolling down, we see the color section, so you can change them as you like. And for the last thing, we have the background. So you can turn this off by clicking on this checkbox. This pack also includes a few icons and a few lower thirds, so I will just show you one of them. Close the landscape, and let's toggle this down again and select icons. As we chose the icon one, we will open the icon folder. We can see again a list with five options. In these five icons, we have some fruits, some vegetables, some meat and seafood some utensils and a few bakery stuff. So again, as we selected the first one, we will open the first folder. We can see a swing amount. This is very similar to the wave speed. So the icon has a swing movement. If you, if you slide it to the left, it will turn off. And if you slide it to the right, it will increase the swing. For the icons, we see an icon selection. That means we can turn off and turn on few icons. So for example, let's say we want the watermelon and we want the peach. So let's say we don't like this position. In this case, we will need to again drag and drop the same title, go back to icon and select, for example, one for peach and one for watermelon. So in this case, we will have two different titles with two different icons and we, can, and we can play with them separately. Let's turn this on again to show you the colors. So for the last thing, we scroll down and we see the color section. The black one is for the outline, but again, it affects global to the icon. So if you want different colors for different icons, just again, 
drag and drop, select one icon for one title and adjust them as you like. Now let's go to the lower third section. So we scroll up again, we close folders, toggle it down again and lower thirds. And same as everything, we have another list. And as we selected the first one, I will just keep it and open the first folder. We have the same text settings. And again, elements, motion, wave, speed. And it has an opacity in case you want to turn it off or just, or just reduce the opacity of the shape. It also includes a color section and we can play with them to match our project. So guys, this is it, it's as simple as that. Remember about the aspect ratio thing. If you have any further questions, please do let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure to tag us in your content with hashtag May with the situation. See you soon in the next tutorial.